Officials say no hazardous materials were on board when the train derailed, but federal, state and local agencies are on scene as cleanup continues. The DEP said they will hold Norfolk Southern accountable if necessary. I heard the train whistle coming. It's, it's normal here hearing the train go by, but it ended up being a loud commotion, bang, and the house shook, and I knew, I looked out the window, I knew something was wrong. Vern Gemiani says he ran out of his house on Montgomery Avenue and saw what had happened before first responders even got there. A Norfolk Southern train derailed around 11 Wednesday night in the city's Mahoning Town area. I was worried about the hazard material, you know, I was worried about we're going to get evacuated or what's going to happen or what are we breathing right now? Officials said nine out of more than 200 rail cars went off the tracks. Some cars were empty. One was hauling soybeans and another paraffin wax. When the train derailed, it did cause some damage to the uh, structure of the bridge. Um, they're waiting right now for cranes to come in and lift the cars off of the bridge. After that, they can send an inspection crew in and make sure the bridge is safe to use or if it has to be repaired or replaced. Officials said there are no public health concerns, including no issues with the drinking water, a big relief for families in the area. We made sure there was no toxins because we have seven kids in our house. We shut the windows, we shut our doors. I told them just to stay away from, don't open up the doors, just stay in the house until we find out because I could smell the smoke in the air. Norfolk Southern provided a statement saying their crews responded immediately and are actively working at the site. The NTSB now also involved in the investigation as they determine the cause of the derailment. Meanwhile, local departments said they were prepared. In light of East Palestine, it opened a lot of people's eyes and it's not a matter of if it's going to happen in your area, it's a matter of when. Officials say no one was injured, including the two people on board. Montgomery Avenue will likely be closed until tomorrow.